Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hospital Management System Project Tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about what we did in this tutorial and I'm and we'll also fix some issues or problem that we have in our project. So first of all, let's see what we did in this tutorial. So here you can see that uh, we have a navbar, we have a login and registration option over here. We use a template in this tutorial and we also uh, added those doctor images their name and specialty from our admin dashboard and if you go down here you can see make an appointment user can make an appointment from here uh, even if he is logged in or not now let me show you what a logged in user can do and here you can also see a register option if uh, you, a user can register uh, by clicking here you can see the user needs to give his name email phone number address and obviously some password as well and uh, here you can see we have a login option user can log in from here and if user forget his password he can get the password by clicking forget your password then a email will be sent to users email so let me just log in to our user uh, let's give the password and if you click login here you can see this is our user dashboard uh, you can see that uh, a logged in user has the extra feature and that is my appointment and uh, the user can also see his profile and also log out from here and let me just uh, create a appointment from here uh, let me just click over here let's say name will be uh, yamin and let's give a user email address let's say user at the rate of gmail.com let's give the text from here and let's also select a doctor you can see the doctor name here if you go uh, a little top you can see the doctor over here you can see the doctor name and the specialty so here uh, you can see that if you click it you can see the doctor name and their specialty as well so let me just choose this one and let's just choose a number phone number so that the hospital can contact with you and let's just enter a message uh, let's just say uh, check up check up for me and if you just click submit request it will uh, show you a message that appointment request successful will contact with you soon now if we go to our appointment here you can see our appointment over here you can see that the date which we choose and the message and also the status status is in progress it means the admin needs to confirm uh, confirm the status if the admin confirm the appointment then uh, this status will change from confirmed so and the user can also cancel their appointment by themselves if the user just click cancel it will show a message that are you sure to delete this and if the user click ok it will delete this appointment let me just show you if i click ok it will delete this so now let's uh, let's just log out from here and let's go to our admin dashboard so just let's log into our admin here we are going to say admin at the rate of gmail.com let's keep the password and let's click login so here you can see this is our admin dashboard now if you click add doctor it will take you to this page and you can add a doctor from here let me just add a doctor let's just say here smith let's give a doctor phone number and let's click a specialty let's say heart and we also need to give a doctor room number let's say 303 uh, and you can also choose a doctor image so let me just uh, choose a image from here uh, we'll say doctor let me just say okay here is a doctor image if i just click open here you can see doctor 6.gpg now if you click submit it shows a message doctor added successfully now uh, if you just go to all doctors here you can see all the doctor over here now uh, the admin can update or delete the doctor if your admin just click delete and if the admin click ok this doctor will be deleted now the admin want to like update their data or anything admin just need to click the update button it will take admin to a different page with that data you can see the doctor name the phone number the specialty and the room number and it is also showing us the old image and admin can also change their image from here as well let's just say the uh, change the mobile number let's just say 000 just a random number and if the click admin click submit here you can see doctor details updated successfully if you go to all doctors here you can see that the phone number is changed and we still have the old image now let's go to appointments and if you go to appointments the admin can see the customer name 
then their email address here you can see then admin can also see the customer phone number then the doctor name who is that uh, they want to visit a doc visit a hospital and also the message and here you can see the status is in progress here uh, we have two button approve and cancel admin can uh, cancel the appointment also approve their uh, appointment if the admin click approve here you can see that uh, the status is changed to approved and then after that admin can also send the email to the user over here you can see we have a send email button over here if the admin click send email it took us over here this page you can say any message let's just say hi from the hospital let's say uh, in the body you can come tomorrow at 9 and let's also say uh, admin can also give any link if the admin on let me just copy uh, say over here and uh, let me just copy this url and i'll paste it over here and in the in part let's just say thanks and if the admin click submit button here you can see it is reloading and it will send an email to that specific user so here you can see email sent successfully now if we just go, go to that certain mail so here you can see that uh, this email is yeah 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 i mean on at the rate of gmail.com and if that user open this mail here you can see that hi from the hospital you can come tomorrow at nine check out this link and at the end thanks if uh, someone click this link it will open a open that link over here you can see google.com so this is everything we did in this project now this project is really simple if you are a beginner or if you want to like create a project for your university or if you want to learn laravel then this is the perfect project for you i try to explain everything in this project uh, so you will have the basic idea uh, how to create a project in laravel and it will help you uh, improve your growth a lot if you complete this project now let me just uh, fix some issue that we have in our project now first of all let's just log out from here and here you can see that we are right now is not logged in now if you go down you can see that the image size is equal but when we log in let me just log in let's just go to user let's keep the password and if you click login here you can see right now we are logged in and if you go down here you can see that the image size is changed their uh, length height is not same anymore so in order to fix this uh, we will directly go to our code and we need to go to our user folder then if you go to home you can see that uh, our home page actually inherit uh, this user.doctor page so we'll directly go to doctor.blade.php and over here you can see from here we are actually showing the image so here you can see height equal to 300 px so we are just going to remove this and we'll just say here style and inside this style we'll say height let's say 300 px and after this 300 px we'll say important so uh, it means if we give this important it means whatever the css uh, applied for the height uh, it doesn't matter uh, the image height always will be 300 for this so if we save it now and if we refresh here you can see all the image height is right now same okay now this is on thing now uh, let's let me just click this my appointment over here now if we click home if we want to uh, go to our home page it doesn't take us to our home page or if you just click over here on health it should take us to our main page uh, so we need to fix this as well so for it we again just directly go to our home.bed.php then uh, if we go down here we can see the on health this is actually the this one so in this href we are just going to set two second bracket and we will say url and two single quotation and then slash now if you save it and let me just refresh over here and now if you click this on health but okay if you click it uh, okay it doesn't doesn't work i think my appointment has a separate page so let's go to my appointment.blade.php and over here you can see that uh, we have a separate on health over here so uh, i'm just going to remove this uh, hash and going to uh, say the same thing over here uh, i am going to say url and inside this single quotation just a slash now if you just save it and if we just refresh over here and let's just click this on here you can see it took us to the home page 
now let's also do the same for this home so let's go to our uh, let me just here you can see we are right now in my appointment.plate.php so here you can see home so we are just going to uh, remove this and give two second bracket then we are going to say url we are going to write the same thing let's save it now we will go to our user then home.plate.php and we are going to say the same thing over here as well let's say here url and inside single quotation just a slash now if you save it and if we refresh now if you click home it will uh, keep us on the same page now let's go to my appointments and if we click home it will take us to home so this is on issue uh, that is solved now let me uh, show you another issue that we have in our project now uh, let me just go to route then web.php now if we go down here you can see add doctor view uh, this is now this is actually for the admin you can see with admin controller now if we just uh, let me just copy this control c and if we just paste it over here Control V and press enter. You can see that it took us to the admin page, which isn't correct. So we need to fix this. So for it, we we'll like to go to our admin controller and, and over here, uh, let me just check the web.php. And here you can see that its function name is add view. So here you can see add view. So we are just going to give a condition over here. First of all, we'll uh, check if there is any auth. So we'll say auth double clone ID. So if is there any auth ID, it means is there any user is logged in. Then we'll give two second bracket. And after this, we are going to check the user type, whether it is admin or user. So for it, we need to give another if condition over here. And we'll say auth double clone user to first bracket this arrow sign then we'll say user type then equal equal on now in the database on uh, we already mentioned that on means uh, admin and zero means user so let me just show you again just to be sure if you go to our user here you can see zero and on on means admin so uh, if there is uh, user type is on only then uh, we can return this view control v or if the user type is not on else then we'll go to else condition else uh, let's just say return return redirect uh, will stay on the same place return redirect back and if there is uh, no auth id so for it we need to also give a else condition we'll give a else condition uh, we'll say return or uh, let's say return redirect and we'll uh, return to login page so now let's save it and uh, okay now uh, since we are using auth over here so we also need to add auth at the top so here uh, let me just go to our uh, home controller.php and i'll copy this use illuminate backslash support backslash packet backslash auth and i'll paste it inside admin controller at the top so control v control s now let me just refresh over here and if you right now see over here add underscore doctor underscore view and press enter it will not take us to that uh, admin view and so we also actually need to do the same for uh, our other view over here as well so it is really simple let me just uh, do it for two of them so that you can understand it easily so let's just copy this if this second bracket and this if condition control c and here uh, let's do this this show appointment part now here let me just go to our route and here uh, show appointment let's see let's see here you can see show appointment now if we just say here show appointment if we, and if we press enter here you can see it again took us to this page so now what we are going to do uh, we'll just go into admin controller.php and here after this second bracket we are going to copy that paste that code that we copied here you can see if auth id and the if condition and if the user type is on then only return this view otherwise not so uh, i need to close this if so we'll give a second bracket over here and if the user type is not on it means if the user type is uh, zero it means the admin then uh, return redirect back return uh, redirect to first bracket l sign back we also need to uh, 
in this if condition which will in over here so now we'll say here else return redirect and we'll return redirect to login uh, let me just explain again first of all we are checking if there is any auth id if there is auth id then we'll check the user type is uh, then we'll check the user type if the user type is on it will take uh, this admin view and if the user type is not on uh, then it will stay on the same page and if there is no logged in user then it will directly go to this else condition and uh, then it will show us a login view so now if we save it now let me just uh, say over here show appointment and if we press enter it will keep us on the same page so you also need to do the same for the rest of the function over here uh, and we also need to do for the uh, home controller as well let me just go to home controller and let me show you for home controller as well so here you can see we already did this for the redirect and here let me just do this for and here let me just uh, we just have to do it only for my appointment part over here you can see so here we already write a auth condition so we just need to give only on if condition uh, inside this if so here uh, we just need to find out the user type whether it is admin or user so we say auth double clone uh, we say user to first bracket this arrow sign will say user type equal equal uh, if the user type is equal zero because uh, we want to return a view for user right now so we'll give two second bracket and inside it uh, let me just copy everything over here control x and i'll paste it inside them control v so now let's save it so uh, this is all about this tutorial so so this is how all the issue is solved in our project and i tried to make this tutorial as easy as possible but if anyone face any problem or any confusion or any error then let me know in the comment section and also let me know how much uh, you like this tutorial uh, what was your experience about this tutorial and if you like this project or tutorial and if you want to learn more laravel then subscribe this channel because i upload laravel related video every day so thank you very much for watching stay tuned and stay healthy